Hi everyone! Welcome to Cloud House! It's me again! And we are in March and for this video I get the inspiration in flowers, in the spring, in weddings. You know who's gonna marry it? Our Greta! Finally, she's gonna marry it! She needs a completely makeover! I'm gonna take care of it! I choose Venus, Monster High, because of the color and because I have a lot of them. First I send the body and then with the nail polish without acetone I clean the body of all the fat and dusty. With a layer of mist super clear using my mask I start hairbrushing the body with yellow and purple colors. They are original from her. I seal again everything with my mist to super clear and I start blushing the body with different tones of greens and yellows. Again, I seal everything with mist to super clear. I give her panties with a white acryl. For the bright leg, I choose this blue ribbon. As we used to say, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. And this is the blue thing. And I will attach a white flower. I print some accessories and the ears in my 3D printer. I wash them with the alcohol. And now I have to cure them. Look, so much detail. The little gremlins, they're so cute. And also, of course, some shoes. And I print these gremlin hands to give it a, a glamour touch to the shoe. But first we have to clean the pieces take all the support out and sand it really good give it a layer of mist super clear painted with acryl paints I'm gonna use these colors and let's get started the shoes are painted in white I give it three layers let it dry between the layer I attach the hand to the heel with my UV resin and I cure it under the UV lamp for 90 seconds then I painted the hand and the bottom of the shoe in red when everything is dry I finish them with the varnish glossy acryl I glue this white satin ribbon to attach the shoe to her leg Now we have to see and we have to mark the place of the hair because I'm gonna reroute with this amazing green hair. I started painting the hair with this green and give it the details with yellow and dark green. And of course, I forgot to paint the sculpt before I start rerouting, but it's still not late, so let's pick up our green acryl and paint it. I give it two layers and let it dry. I cut a little piece of hair, they're coming in a, in a kind of roll.
Every hole is a piece of hair. I go around first to the hairline and then I make sure that in the middle, especially in the hairline, is really covered like this. After I'm done with my tacky glue through the neck hole, I make sure that all of the hairs gonna be glued into the head. And I let it dry for the night. Continue with the accessories. I painted the little gremlins with gold, acryl, and now with this Fimo sticky product, I'm gonna brush it up and let it dry for 15 minutes. And then I can use my gold leaf and attach it. A girl needs gold, needs bling bling, especially if we are married and they look amazing. And I protect everything again with my acryl varnish glossy. For the dress, the dress um, is going to be the borrow thing. I borrowed from a dress from a, a little girl that she didn't need it anymore. So I'm going to use the satin uh, skirt with this uh, tool. It have two layers of tool. And the old thing is going to be the top of an old dress of a doll. Don't ask me what doll it is, because I don't know. I have to cut it and make it to her size. And in the back side, I attach a satin ribbon to give it more glamour. I print also these gremlin hands that I'm gonna paint it with gold for the bouquet of the bride. That's gonna be the new thing. With the same gold lace from the dress and with a white flower I start to build the bouquet. I look the place where I want the hands and I glue them with a hot glue. And I start to decorate it with the little gremlins heads and white roses. The roses, they have a, a kind of a wired that I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna decorate it with some pearls. With my flyer, I close the wire and with my UV resin, I seal it better under the lamp and cure it for 90 seconds. The back side I finish with a wire that I'm gonna decorate it with this white satin ribbon. I go around and glue it with my hot glue. I finish with a pearl. And he looks so beautiful. I love him. 
Now it's time for the crown. I use these wires around the head that I'm gonna secure with some pins. Like this. And with the same gold ribbon of the dress, I will attach him and sew it around the crown. And I decorated also with the gold gremlins and the white roses and the pearls also we cannot forget the pearls The sleeve have two layers, so I'm going to use this embroidery. I'm going to sew it in the first layer by hand. Really carefully, I cut it around the tool and the, around the embroidery. Like this. It looks amazing. And I sew everything in the top and I attach it to the crown in the back side. And it's time for the pearls. Again, with my Mr. Super Clear, it's time for the face. I give it three layers and let it dry for 30 minutes between the layers. And with my soft pastels, I start to give them some shadows with different tones of greens with the yellow and uh, very recognizable from her. With a light green watercolor pencil, I start sketching the eyes and my Mr. Super Clear is working marvelous this time. I'm loving it. I'm gonna use a purple eyeshadow. And for the eyes, I'm gonna give her like a, a fire eyes with orange, red, yellows. The lips big red. I start building the highliner with my black watercolor pencil and layer after layer is the same thing you give it more detail, more shadow, more contour, more opacity to the colors to achieve what you wanted for the eyebrows I give it the iconic eyebrows the little punt that I try to give it more detail with different colors I want to give her some texture to the skin, some freckles, and I use this synthetic brush 
with different tones of green and yellow and white. And with my white acryl, I start giving the details to the sclera and the highlights, light catcher. This doll is going to be available on my Etsy shop. If you need a Greta in your life, you can go there. You're always welcome. And the lips, I'm going to paint them in deep red acryl. With black soft pastel, I give it the shadow of the high lashes. And now we're going to finish the ears. I give it touches with the purple and now I'm gonna give it some freckles also and texture to the skin. I let it dry, protect everything with my acryl varnish. I make it two holes to give her some wearings. And with my Dremel, I'm gonna attach it three pins. And I will attach it definitely to the face. I'm going to use this shell super glue. Don't use the other one because it's really liquid and you cannot have control of it. And I will attach it definitely the ears. And I have to wait a little bit for them to dry and they look amazing and I also attach the earring that I talk about it with a small pearl. I do exactly the same thing in the other ear. And finally I can wear my hair curly with my glove protection. I roll around the hair curler, the hair First you try it in a little bit and see if it doesn't melt it, please, before you do it in your doll. And you have the perfect curl. I just have to do it this all over again to the whole head. When she's finished, it's time to put the crown on places with some pins. And she looks amazing. It's time for the eyelashes. As usual, I'm going to use doll eyelashes in black color and with tacky glue that allows me to put them on the right place with time and with the help of a pin. And then I finish her face with some glossy. Are you ready to see how bright, how Greta? I hope you like it, my video. Thank you for all the support that you're giving to me. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. It's a big help for me. You just have to click the button, subscribe, leave a comment. I read all of your comments. Believe me, they are very important for me. And I see you in my next video. Bye!